Uh, welcome to the module of increasing level of detail. Um, if you haven't seen the module adding BIM data already, uh, I highly recommend you to, the, to watch that uh, video first uh, because it's actually a, a more advanced uh, part of that module. Um, and I will be going further into the same model that I used in the uh, module adding BIM data. Um, and here I'm going to add in more and more detail and increasing the level of detail to uh, a more realistic version of uh, an office building. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first, uh, this is the end uh, result of the previous module, uh, which is the adding BIM data one, where I added the compositions and um, some properties into this uh, model. Um, now, let's open up a floor section. And zoom into the front and zoom into the connection of the wall wall uh, from the front and the back wall composition. So you can see here, it's not perfectly aligned and connected to each other since the compositions has a different thickness. Um, if we zoom into another uh, wall wall connection, which has both front composition, uh, you can see these connections look pretty good. Uh, it's only this one that we want to change. Now, um, in the previous module of uh, the adding BIM data, I showed you how to use propagate uh, to copy um, the same kind of details uh, into the other parts of your drawing. Now here I'm going to use the details panel. So if I open up this icon, you will see the details panel. If you don't find this icon in on your right hand side, you can um, right click any empty space and open up the panel uh, details. So this one, yes. Um, so now I have uh, three files in it. If you don't have it, um, you can find the files in uh, your own computer, which is in uh, program data, uh, Brixis details. So here uh, you have the uh, details that I prepared before. So uh, you can find these uh, details in the zip file that I added in the starter file. So if you unzip that and copy and paste it into here, this path, so program data breaks these details, uh, and then you should uh, find this exact uh, detail in the details panel. So I have three folders. Uh, I can use the uh, search bar to find wall, for example, and click on the plus. And uh, since it's a wall wall composition, Let's do it twice. And you can see here some combinations where I have used the wall-wall connection before. So in this case, uh, I want to use the WW55 one. Um, if I click one, if I click, the, uh, so let's choose this one. If I click on them, you can see here, um, it has some information to it. Um, so if it's parametrized or not, um, you can also open it in a separate DWG file. Um, you can add some text on it as well. You have some parameters shown and here you can see the solid text and the general text uh, of, the, of the detail. So some information about the detail. I will explain you later as well. Uh, for now, I'm going to use this detail and also like components and compositions, just drag and drop it inside your drawing. So let's do that. And here it will automatically uh, launch Propagate uh, to find similar connections uh, to apply this particular detail onto uh, the locations in your drawing. In this case, I just wanted to have this I just want to have this connection uh, for the wall wall connection, which is the wall front and the wall back. Uh, so we can check off the rest, which are the front and front wall, like this. 
So only the blind wall uh, should have this kind of connection like this. Enter, apply all, and you will see it will be applied to six connections like this. And if I zoom in, you can see uh, the connection looks more realistic than the one we had before. Um, so this is the, the wall back and the wall front which has a different composition to it. Um, we can use the same thing, we can do the same thing for uh, the other uh, model which is the main uh, building. If I open up here uh, a floor section, it uh, doesn't matter which one, and I zoom in, you can see the connection is also not um, realistic and not correct. So if I also just drag and drop the same detail into the drawing, it will propagate automatically and give us some suggestions. So here, this is our blind wall. So with the different compositions, so the rest we can and select like this, enter. All right, and then let's zoom back in to see if it's correct. And here you go. So this um, connection is uh, completed. <clears throat> so this is kind of um, the details that I used in Propagate. You can actually save these kind of details to use in other external files as well. Now, let's so uh, go back to the second building uh, to create another detail. So for the next part of this module, I'm going to show you how to edit uh, another construction detail, which is the um, rooftop uh, part, the rooftop edge, uh, where I'm going to add a wall cap uh, into this um, construction detail. Um, I've done this before in the other module. So let's zoom into the rooftop slab and the exterior wall. And first thing, since we already have the level of detail on, uh, we're just going to enable the face selection to be able to select the ply of the rooftop slab. Hit uh, tab until we have the green uh, highlighted surface and then push and pull uh, to the next apply of the wall like this. Now we are going to hover on top of the wall and also hit the tab key until we have the orange one. That one, let's extrude that one uh, up uh, with the di dimension of 50 to have a, a wall cap as well as here underneath, click on tab once to have the solid face to delete the whole part of this one, like this. And then again, to use the same surface, uh, and instead of um, deleting, we're going to add in a new solid like this. Afterwards, I'm going to make this solid a little bit bigger uh, on the side, push-pull it for the next solid, uh, next surface, and my new detail should look something like this. Um, let me disable the face selection. So for this detail, I have added another um, solid, which is the wall cap, and also another uh, solid, which is the insulation. So I have added two extra surfaces for this particular detail. Uh, let me also add in a composition to them. So let me open the composition panel and type in concrete. And then you have all the concrete options uh, that we currently have. Let me select the first um, solid, which is the wall cap, um, and add concrete uh, plane to it. And also select the insulation to have the supporting wall cellular concrete composition to it, like this. So this should be my finished detail. In this case, if we wanted to um, have this detail all over the rest of the building, uh, we can do propagate to it. Um, but now, uh, since we want to use this same um, detail uh, in another 
model which is the main building uh, we want to save this detail into the details panel to be able to use it on to other external files so let me bim create detail and the create detail dialog will pop up um, you can do a detail name let's say wall cap detail and then you can choose a category or um, make one let's say you can save it in roof wall connections for example or you can type in a new name to create a new folder um, select the base solids so these are the original rooftop slab and the original wall surface uh, wall solids enter detail entities so these are the new solids that you have created so in this case this is the uh, wall cap and the insulation and section so the section that you've opened to create this detail so this one okay create so it will ask you to confirm okay accept this detail you can always um, add like edit the the image of the thumbnail like this for example and add in a tag as well for example wall cap add so here it will add it to the general text so the orange one is not an automatically generated tag but it's uh, a personal uh, tag that you use for a certain project for example um, save it okay so our uh, detail is saved so let's open a details panel and search on the a folder a search in the folder where you uh, save this detail so this would be wall cap details so this one you can go ahead and open this detail and now you see uh, our detail is not parameterized so there are no parameters on it uh, which means that the plies um, has to have a fixed thickness it cannot be changed uh, the dimension should be exactly the same otherwise propagate won't find this particular detail but we can parameterize it and um, use it to propagate on different situations even though the thickness is a little bit different it will still propagate that certain detail so let me parameterize it so now it will be automatically parameterized and the particular detail will be opened up in a different uh, dwg file so you can see here let me open up the mechanical browser so this looks like that and you can see here all the plies that um, we have in this particular detail and these are all in parameters which means all these thicknesses of each ply can be changed uh, we can check this by animating so you can see this concrete layer is changing so now um, even though in other situations where the concrete is a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner it will still uh, be able to find this detail to propagate since these plies are param uh, parametrized. Uh, we can also do that for the angle for example, animate. You can see the angle is not perfectly done yet so you can still change these parameters and add your own constraints to it as well. So let me en enable the face selection again. So I'll animate this again. So you see this is um, this surface doesn't perfectly come along with the other one so we can add in a coincidence constraints to it select both surfaces constraint and coincidence so here it will add a coincidence constraints to this ply uh, this face and this face another thing we want to be fixed is the distance between this solid surface and the one underneath for the wall cap so it will be all the time the same distance which is 50 so enter so we've added the distance constraints of 50 um, in uh, this wall cap and the same for the insulation uh, block so let me tap until i find the right solid face which is this one and then the one underneath and add also a 
distance constraint, which is 355, enter. So then these distances will be fixed. So if I animate this angle again, it looks a little bit better than before. Um, then we also change this thickness tolerance to 100. So it has a bigger tolerance. Save it. And then we can close off this detail. Now go back to the main building um, model, which is this one. Uh, open up the details panel and then go ahead and uh, op uh, drag and drop the detail that we have just added it into the drawing. Enter to apply all the suggestions and it's done. So if you zoom into the rooftop edge, you will see here the rooftop has a wall cap on it and it has an extra solid which is for the insulation. You can also check it by opening, uh, making a BIM section. And zoom in to check. So you see, even though this uh, roof is uh, slightly angular, it has an angle to it, it will still apply uh, this particular detail since we have animated and parameterized uh, the angle for this detail as well. So it will be able uh, to apply this detail not only for construction details that has a 90 degree angle, but another angle is also possible. So this is how you can actually create details and save it in the details panel to use it for later and also for other kind of uh, situations where you can kind of use the same detail. So this was another example for how to create uh, more realistic details in your model. Um, so the idea of the details panel is to uh, create a, a detail once, parameterize it and save it into the details panel where you can use it later um, for similar situations, not only in the same drawing, but also in other drawings as well. Um, so this was a module increasing LOD, which is level of detail. Um, thanks for watching.